This video is intended as a supplement to your employer's specific mobile elevating work platform training and workplace safety policies and procedures and the information contained in your mobile elevating work platform's operator and owner's manual. This scissor lift video series is designed to help develop safe practices in the workplace. In this module, we will be covering the responsibilities involved in owning and operating a scissor lift in the United States and Canada. Scissor lifts belong to a group of machines called Mobile Elevating Work Platforms. Mobile Elevating Work Platforms are broken down into two groups. Group A are platforms which extend directly above the chassis, while Group B are platforms that can extend outside of directly over the chassis. Within these groups, there are three types based on how the machine can travel. Type 1. Travel is only possible in a stowed position. Type 2. Travel can happen while elevated, but is controlled from the chassis. And Type 3. The work platform can travel in an elevated position and be controlled from the platform. This video series will be covering Group A, Type 3. Mobile Elevating Work Platforms, commonly known as MEWPs, or better known as scissor lifts or mast lifts. The safety standards for mobile elevating work platforms are maintained by ANSI in the United States and CSA in Canada. Copies of these standards are available online from these organizations. Manufacturers are responsible for building scissor lifts according to these standards and providing procedures and instructions on how to operate, maintain, and avoid hazards associated with using their equipment. Next comes the dealer, who typically buys from the manufacturer. The dealer generally sells, rents, and services the scissor lift. Dealers are responsible for offering training for safe and proper operation of the scissor lift. The owner, a person who has legal possession of the MEWP, is also responsible for offering training for safe and proper operation of the scissor lift. Users are oftentimes the employers. They can also be dealers, owners, lessors, lessees, or operators. Users are responsible to ensure that only trained, qualified, capable, and authorized personnel are allowed to operate the equipment and that any supervisors or occupants are also properly trained. Additionally, the user must ensure the correct manuals are stored and in good condition on the machine at all times. Operators are the individuals who will use the scissor lifts in their workplace and are qualified to control the movement of the MEWP.